It's ON TV's Game of the Week, bringing you varsity soccer action. It's April 23rd, 2024. The Clarkson Wolves and the Lake Orion Dragons go at it in this varsity matchup here at Dragon Stadium under blustery and cold conditions. This rivalry matchup is always fun, and we know we're going to get a, a solid game between these two squads. We do every year. Lake Orion comes into this matchup sitting at 2-3-1 and one on the season, while Clarkson's on a roll at 5-2-1, and one, and they're road dogs. To start the season up to this midpoint, they had six road games so far this season, and uh, they've done well on the road. Lake Orion is winners of two straight in a 3-1 decision over Seaholm and a 4-0 shutout blowout of Anchor Bay. Both games are running on Orion neighborhood television, uh, especially the Seaholm game. So we have those running for your replay. Head on to orionontv.org for those replay games. We'll be back with kickoff after this short timeout. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! Yeah. <laughs> Right, about to get underway here at Dragon Stadium. Again, crazy conditions. At least the sun is out today, and it's dry. We'll take uh, small victories anywhere we can get them. But yes, uh, rivalry matchup between these two teams is always exciting and always fun. And the Dragons have found, hey, hey they, they found some offense. It has come to life, and the some were, uh, players we're going to be looking at today are going to be uh, Dylan Verlinden, Elizabeth Crawford, Addison Verlinden, and Mackenzie Tabish. Kind of what we saw the uh, over the last several games when they kind of went on that, uh, well, they got that two-game win streak, especially against Seaholm and Anchor Bay. Uh, Crawford went off and was pouring in multiple goal games, and I think they found their, their offensive force in number 10, the sophomore. So... We are underway here. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thank you for tuning into this telecast. Owen TV always happy to bring spring sports to everybody here in the area. And you can hear the wind blowing outside, and it's it is blustery. And they, both teams on the uh, sides are all uh, dressed up, nice and warm. Look at the referee, the side judge, with his. With, or the line uh, ref with his flag just blowing winter hat and long sleeves are the name of the game, especially with the fans. A nice crowd here in the stands. You can see our cameras usually midfield, but it's offset today because of the, the amount of fans in attendance today. Dragons with it. Crawford's still with the leg wrap. Uh, number 10, one to watch out on the offensive rush. Nice steal by Clarkston. Clarkston is white. The Dragons are in black. Nice feed up through the middle. Nice give and go. And return service on and upper 90 on the left side. Score already. Number five. 38. 23. Here's a replay. Look at that. Give and go. It's deflected off the defense defender. So that is not an offsides call. It's, it is fair game. And it's sent in from just outside the... The 18 and the Wolves strike first. I, unfortunately, I do not have a roster for Clarkson, so I can't give credit to that. Heads up play at 38-23 of the first half. Dragons know they don't do not want to get down against this tough Wolves squad. These two teams always play tight together. Um, it's been a while since we've seen any type of blowout win or loss for either team. It's 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 as fun as watching Lake Orion Oxford go head to head. They're tight matches. You know they're going to end up meeting in the. Uh, they always meet up in the playoffs for some reason, and they know each other so well. 
And the players on both teams, no doubt, know each other from club soccer, playing in the youth leagues for years. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun to see familiar faces on the other side of the ball. You just hope that you come out with a W at the end of it all, right? But, yeah, Clarkston Wolves are up one nothing early here in this varsity tilt. They send it downrange again. Clarkston on the attack, and they're open on that right side. Cut near tip in, but... Tapped out nicely on the defensive end. Corner kick coming for Clarkston. First corner of the day. Number five already has a goal tonight, and he, she has the honors here on the corner kick. Short corner to set it up. Give and go. Here she comes. Inside kick. You can see what's going on. Right foot near side just through the goal mouth. And then a chip on left footer out of play. Quality scoring chances for Clarkston are starting to add up. Dragons, a little flat-footed coming out at the start of this matchup. Uh, when the, the Dragons get rolling, the one thing about Lake Orion is their defense is stellar. It has been on point all year long. And uh, goalie uh, Kyle Kapitsky, the junior, it's really solid between the pipes, and the Dragon defense does a nice job of collapsing in on the ball carriers and shutting down offensive attack. We saw against, let me take a look at it. It was Seaholm, yes, the Seaholm uh, matchup on the 16th of April here at Dragon Stadium. They gave up an early goal on a slow roller uh, misplay by Kapitsky, but that's rare. We don't see that happening. If you look at the scoring, or the defensive uh, scoring against the Dragons. Um, I think the most goals they've given up all season is three against Oxford in the loss, and it was three to two. So they have one, two, two shutouts, one, two, two goal games, two, just allowing two goals. But uh, the one thing is we're going, hey, when is this offense going to kick in? And we saw against Seaholm win a new ball tomorrow in Bay. They scored seven goals. So can they keep that up? We shall see. Dragons trying to get some offensive rush going. Again, if you're just joining us, Dragons are wearing the black jerseys, Clarkston in the white. Far side, that's... Again, that's chipped off. That is um, Crawford trying to do some damage over there. Should be a corner kick coming for Lake Orion, their first of the game. Trying to get this corner kick set, and the Dragons are very dangerous on set pieces. And with the wind whipping out here, we'll see what happens. They do a good job of lobbing these balls in. Nice job on the side. Oh, a header didn't quite connect right, but it was there. A little more loft on that service, and Dragons are in business. Regalia with the throw-in on the sideline for Lake Orion. Oh, teammate on teammate action knocking down. Who was that? Number three, Paisley Frisch taking the brunt of that. A service on over the crossbar and out of play. We'll call that a quality scoring chance on that corner kick. Dragons got it in position, just a little bit higher. As you can see, number six, Dylan Verlinden, the junior, uh, roaming out there on the attack. Verlinden always in position, and her sister rolling out there. Addison looking to attack. Clarkston on the move. Looks like they have some speed, and that is onside. Nicely done. Splits the defense. Comes in. Going to right foot it. Taparoo, but uh, Kapitsky was there to shut that one down. Nice effort by Clarkston. Thought maybe they'd try a chip, but uh, when you're running full speed, it's hard to change direction and get the angle of your toe on that ball to chip it up on over. Um, Nice through ball for the Dragons. Verlinden chasing that one down, but gathered in by the Clarkston goalkeeper. At 33 minutes, left into the first half here. Clarkston up 1-0 on the Dragons. At 38-23 early in this game, they get on the board. Dragons playing from behind for the first time in a while. 
Throw in coming for Clarkston. Clarkston lost to Oxford as well. That um, I think that was a four to two road loss. Our, uh, that was their last, their only loss in their last four games. So they're they are clicking on all cylinders. Here's number five again, already with one goal tonight. Moving inside, bobbing and weaving. Look like a handball, no call. Play continues. Ball took an odd deflection. Crawford on the defense there with a leg wrap. Clarkson sends it down range. A lot of room to roam for Clarkston out here. The Wolves have done a nice job out of play, throwing coming for the Wolves. See that American flag way in the back there, just standing at attention under this wind. Out of play, goal kick coming for Lake Orion. I want to thank you all for tuning into this telecast. Again, I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Try to have a little bit of lacrosse action, a little bit of uh, softball, a little bit of soccer this spring. The spring season is so short and condensed with so many games, and the weather to start it off uh, was frigid, uh, to say the least, and um, cold and wet. Um, we're lucky to have some sun out here now, so we're trying to get these games in for you. We try to cover about four games for each sport each spring, um, weather permitting, of course. For Linden on the ball, trying to turn, and she makes the pass. Three on one, nice pass over to the side. Crawford on score. They're gonna, it is a score. She's pointing, or the referee's pointing. Are they gonna say offsides? Oh, offside, thought Crawford had it. You can see the that left side streak of uh, Crawford off that left side. She was open, but offside. Um, very aggressive on that run for number 10. But you can see they're keying on number 10. Uh, Crawford to try to feed her the ball and get that in. That was a left side attack. Unfortunately, it was offside. The Dragons had a lot of offside calls against Anchor Bay and Seaholm. Here's another uh, deep run into the Dragon offensive end by the Wolves. The Wolves move quickly. Attacked quickly, got out early with a one nothing lead. Using speed and try to split that defense. And we're not seeing, I don't see any patterns of they're attacking the middle, they're attacking the left or right. They're just finding any open ending space that the Dragons are giving them and that's that. Foul called on Clarkston, so here we go with a free kick coming for Lake Orion. The wind blowing the ball won't even sit still on the turf. Look at it. That is ridiculous. Coming out of the south. Finally sits still. Nice service into the teeth of those that win there. Dragons have some opening. Try it again over to Crawford. Not going to do it. Nice, nice uh, back defensive play by the Wolves to shut that one down. Uh, Wolves defense is doing a nice job of closing in on the Dragons ball carriers. Um, not letting them to get settled in and able to get uh, maneuver. Dragons are going to have to move quickly, make quick decisions. Um, one thing we do see is that they do play some solid uh, a two-person game like give and goes and, and the set pieces again as mentioned in the open. The set pieces are so key to the offensive attack for Lake Orion. They're, they execute them so well. Libby Acker, number eight, on the attack there, but it was turned away by the Wolves, and ooh, it gets through. Addie Verlinden, number 16, chasing that one down on the defensive side, trying to get that one out. Giveaway deep in the end. This is dangerous territory for the Wolves. Nice defensive play by Lake Orion to knock that one out. And they're going to say it was off Clarkston. Very nicely done by the green and white. The green and white who are wearing black today. Difficult to see the numbers on the jerseys when they're wearing these black ones, but they look really sharp. Clarkson resetting that offense, trying to get something going here. Again, up one nothing on the 
Nice nutmeg there by number 15 for Clarkson on the, the, the dodge. Oh, miss kick in the box. Danger. Dragon's just looking to clear. Clarkson's still on the attack from range. Skip, but Kapitsky was there. Dra uh, the uh, Wolves will not go away. Rivalry matchups. Y you know it's a cliche, but you hear it every time. It doesn't matter what the records are. Throw them out. Trying to play it there. Trying to get through, and she does. Nicely done. Opening in the middle. It's at 20. Butkey. Still alive. Trying to get over to Crawford. She does. That's on side. Trying to get a left foot on it. Chip on. Ooh, opening the goal mouth. Didn't quite get all of it. Not a lot of velocity on that shot, but it was there. Dragons putting the pressure on. Trying to turn. Knocked out of the end line. It'll be a goal kick for, for Clarkson, I believe. Nope, maybe corner. Second corner kick of the night. You know the offensive attack is aggressive when the corner kicks start mounting and start adding up. One corner kick for Clarkston so far, two for Lake Orion. Kira West checks in, number 23 for Lake Orion, the junior. Dragons are not hesitant in doing their substitutions. They will move players in and out freely. Coach Amanda Hutchison doing a nice job with this squad this year. Again, it's uh, just trying to get settled in, find out what the identity of this team is. We know their defensive strengths, but it's the offense that they have to work on. And have we seen a breakout for them on the offensive side of the ball with the two wins coming into this matchup with the seven goals? Ooh, nice feed through. Good hesitation by the Clarkston player. To, uh, looked like it was offside, but held up just slightly. That's good discipline, and that ball is out of play across the end line. Goal kick coming. But that's a smart, disciplined play by the Wolves to hold up. Your natural tendency is, oh, there's the ball wide open. Let's go. <laughs> but you'll be whistled every time. That was offsides clearly. And... Uh, Let's see the makeup of this Dragon team. If this is your first uh, viewing of the 2024 version of the Dragons, Lady Dragons varsity soccer team, it is a young team. Um, one, two, three seniors, two seniors on this squad. That's it. The rest is sprinkled with sophomores, juniors, and one freshman in Maya Patil, uh, sporting the jersey number 11. So yeah, this squad is young and it's gonna be exciting to see what they, how they develop and they have been developing. They've been getting better across the course of this first half of the season. And it, good things are to come in the future for this squad. Veteran goaltender in Kapitsky. Always good to see that. Throw in coming for Clarkston here. Deep in the Dragon uh, defensive end. We'll see what happens. Short throw in. Dragon's trying to settle that ball down to clear it out. And having some difficulty making solid contact. That's a good move there by number three, uh, Paisley Frisch. Oh, good defensive stand there by Clarkston. Get him back in, and Dragon's content to just knock that one out of play. And a throw in coming here for the Wolves. High Archer over the defensive back line and they'll let that one sail out of the cross, or roll across that uh, end line for a goal kick. All right, let's take a peek at Clarkston leading up to this matchup. We talked about that they are road dogs for sure. And what did they say? They were uh, six road games. So far of their eight games played have been on the road. Five, two, and one overall as Clarkston. Ooh, danger, danger. Inside, try to left foot a good defense to shut that one down. Nicely done. Goal kick coming for Clarkston. Or corner kick, excuse me. Second corner kick for the Wolves. Try to read some, give you some information and read some notes I have here on both squads and 
Clarkson's just quick to the attack. All right. Arms raised, ready to deliver. Nice high archer. Nicely done. Going back post. The header is out of play. Um, goal kick coming here for Lake Orion. After that uh, corner kick. I'm sure they would like to have that one back. All right. After the goal kick, see what happens here. Battlefield over there. Should be a throw in for uh, Clarkston. All right, so Rochester Adams was the first game for the Wolves, and that was on the road, and they were knocked 6 0 in the loss. The Highlanders are a tough squad this year and are kind of the favorite in the OAA. All right, chip out. What is that? Out of play. Collision in the box. No call. Nice and clean. Both players going for the ball. That's good. Uh, Clarkson again on road against Birmingham Groves in a 1 0 win. And they, tr they were at home against Goodrich in a 4 1 uh, decision there. And then they smoked Farmington at home 7 0. Grand Blank on the road, a 0 0 tie. And then Rochester uh, on the road, uh, Clarkson 1 2 1. And then the always difficult uh, trip to Romeo. And Clarkson won 4 3 in a, uh, I guess we can call that a shootout, right? Four to three in soccer is a pretty good scoring action going on for the spectators, right? Foul called and Lake Orion, free kick coming for the Wolves. Clarkston getting set up and in, in position, making sure they don't cross the, the last defender to be set up off sides. Looking toward the middle, it looks like. Yeah, near side going right on and score. Oh, boy, that looked like it went in. That was deceptively close. My goodness, over to crossbar. Good delivery. Wow. I thought that was in. Got to get my glasses adjusted here. But that was a good delivery. Just a little bit high. I have a feeling the wind took that one and uh, gave it a little, uh, little extra oomph to put it over the crossbar. The Dragons are fortunate that that's what happened again. The Wolves trying to feed it through the middle. Nicely done here on the near side. 22 is open. Can she deliver it in? Looking for the far side pass for a backdoor play, I guess. And the Dragons send it out of play. She had 22 had room to roam. But uh, I like the idea. Another corner kick coming. Uh, three corner kicks here for the Wolves. They do a short corner. Looking to attack. Little physical activity on the uh, down players. Dragons looking to move quickly with number six, uh, Dylan Verlinden. Uh, she, uh, Dylan moves up on the offensive attack. Dragons with a throw in here. I think we have some subs coming in. Heard the whistle usually. Maya Patel, the freshman, number 11, checks in for the Dragons after this uh, player exchange on the throw-in. Approaching 19 minutes left in this first half. Clarkston has pretty much, uh, I'd say they've had the advantage. They've been the aggressor, and they have the one nothing lead to show for it. Dragons trying to split the defense. Miscommunication, two offensive players in the middle, and just out of position. Nice footwork by 16, Addison Verlinden. The junior trying to get something going on offense. Mackenzie Tabish, number 22, trying to do something with it out there. And out of play. Dragons just can't get, get it together on the offensive end. They've had their scoring chances, just the quality of them has just been, I'd say, attributed to the defense. Nice step aside by Tabish. Nice cutting inside. Dragon's still alive, swarmed by white jerseys, four on one. Somebody is open. You're just waiting for that ball to tick out. Verlinden trying to do something with it. It trickles out. Send in nice high archer and just wide. More than just wide, I guess. But that's the opportunity. You have to get it on frame. You don't need that point blank shot. Point blank shot. The, off the offensive player was screened. Good opportunity there for the Dragons. Just could not get a solid shot on goal. But 
swarming defense. We saw four jerseys around the lone Lake Orion ball handler, and it just didn't pay off for him. Wolves playing a little uh, time possession um, soccer here. A little keep away on that goal kick. And the Dragons put some pressure on, and uh, they earned the throw in. Nicely done by the Dragons. Let's see who gets the honors here. Ball comes in. Tapped over. They're going to say offsides. Is that Tabish, number 22? Tabish is tough to deal with. Very strong, tall, fast player. And uh, she can make you look silly real quick if you're not on top of your game. Patel trying to get the ball over. She does. Dragons with some room to roam here. Kind of go near side. What are they going to do with it? Regalia, number 18, in. In the middle, Patel tries to do something with it, and it's gathered in by the Clarkston goalkeeper. Nice ball movement by Lake Orion. All the passes, though, weren't crisp and on, like, on the proper spot, spot in the foot. Uh, the player receiving the ball had to make adjustments. If they can get that tighter, then uh, they're going to have a better opportunity to get some uh, quality shots on frame. Continues to roll here about 6.08. There's a foul on the Wolves, so a free kick coming for Lake Orion. And wind continues to blow. It is a, hey, we'll take it. Sun is out. As long as I got my gloves on and my hat, I'm okay. Winter jacket <laughs> for late April. My goodness. One TV coverage of Dragon Sports. Tune in to Game of the Week Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. on Orion Neighborhood Television on Comcast Channel 10. AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and on our live streams on our website at orionontv.org, and on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV. If you have any of those services, just search for Orion on TV and add our channel to your lineup. Dragon Sports brought to you by Orion Neighborhood Television. Ooh, come in near side, nicely done. Room to roam, looking for an open player. To get it to Regalia again feeds it in. That wind took that. You could see it. She sent that in the middle. Patel battling size and height difference there, but Patel's battling out there for Lake Orion. Good steal by the Wolves, and they send it down range on the near side, and that should roll out of play. Yep. Yeah, Regalia. At number 18, Aaron, the senior, she's been doing a nice job of finding the open player um, after receiving the pass and just heads up play looking for the forward that's streaking down that mid, mid and left side. Just trying to find some sort of offense here. Nice chop down. Number eight, is that little Libby Acker? Ooh, near collision. Now you got one-on-one -on -one action here. Dragons trying to keep her in front, trying to prevent the pass. Nice two-person defensive stand by the Dragons. Nicely done. Ball skirts through. Can the Dragons turn on it? Can they move quickly? Trying to go. Bumped off the ball. Still alive. Good defense by the Wolves. Handball. Yeah, you saw the deflection there. Came in at number 17 and immediately deflected down. That's an easy call. Free kick coming for Lake Orion. Looks like we have some three three substitutions coming in, but they can't uh, come in on the free kick. Dragons look to send it down range, and they do against that wind again, but get it in a nice position. What are we doing here? Can they get organized? Push from behind. No call play continues, and it's out on, uh, I think it's Libby Acker. Oh, it's Dylan, sorry. Verlinden, number six. Looked like it was a dragon deflect, or it was a deflection off a Wolves player, but nope. See that crowd all bundled up with their winter hats on, winter jackets sitting in the shade now as the sun <laughs> sets behind us and the long shadows on the turf 
are getting longer and longer, and that wind keeps blowing cold, so it's not going to get any warmer tonight. For Linden, trying to do something with it, tap in. Nobody there to crash the net. Patel with it. Can she? Nope. Just trying to make quick actions. Nicely done. Nice save. I love that sequence. Maya Patil, number 11, kind of orchestrated that one. She got the ball in the middle, made a quick decision, turn and pass. And the Dragons nearly had a had an opportunity there. Tabish trying to do something, and she, her pocket was picked. Tabish still alive. She's on side. Clarkston a little uh, for Linden with it. Nicely done, gathers it in. Patil cycling through. Player goes down. Oh. There goes that offensive attack real quick on the uh, collision and the foul call on Lake Orient. Mm. Physical game. Clean physical game so far. Slow dribbler. Dragons there to shut down that offensive attack. Can they get anything going? Patil, being a pest out there. We like to see that. Nice size there and a turn move there by number 15 for the Wolves. Hand raised. Or, oh! Look what I found at 11.07. What a play. That was unexpected. 15, chip on from distance. Oh, that ball died. It, it, I don't think the, the wind took it, but 2 nothing lead by, by the Wolves here at 11.07. Wow. Um, Kapitsky thought she had it stopped instead of going down and cradling it in. It looked like that ball knuckled over. She was expecting it to hang a bit. And it took a dive, and she just didn't look like she was expecting it to go down. Tried to stop it with her foot, and just didn't have a, a solid footing, and it trickles in. We saw a goal like that against Seaholm. Just goals that don't usually go in like that from the experienced uh, Kapitsky. But there we go. Dragons are down 2-0 here in the first. Offense is going to have to do something. They got to find some way to solve this defensive pressure by the Wolves. Approaching 10 minutes left in this first half, Wolves in control of this match. Again, we know that the Wolves are not intimidated about playing on the road. And Dragons are in a in the stretch of a long home home stand. Let me take a peek here. See their schedule as the Wolves again put more pressure into the Dragons defensive end. Let's see. Five of the last eight games Lake Orion has been playing at home. And they have not taken advantage. With a 2-3-1 and one record, they have two wins on the season. They got those at home. Again, we mentioned against Seaholm and Anchor Bay. Um, but that's just recently, so maybe they clicked. Maybe something happened. But then they'll be, after this match, they'll be on the road at Bloom Hill, Hills Kingswood at home against Northville. Well, actually an invitational. And then home against Farmington. Yeah, so the bulk of their schedule, they got a favorable, favorable schedule to be at home all these games as they try to attack again. Patil sending that in. Trying to do something with it is 14. That's Chap off the bench. Trying to get some sort of offensive uh, flow going here for Lake Orion. Evelyn Taylor, number seven, chasing that one down in the corner. Rolls out of play. She stops it still in and knocked out by, uh, by the Wolves. Substitutions being made after that goal. Maybe uh, Coach uh, Hutchison is uh, saying, uh, 
subtly saying, get your act together, girls. Let's go. Tabish. Or is that Bucky? I think that's Bucky over there. Again, the numbers on these jerseys are difficult to, to make out for Lake Orion. Dark green on black is never a good uh, eye-popping <laughs> uh, font and text uh, design you want for a sporting event uh, uh, or sporting team's jersey. <laughs> Ooh, near steal there. Dragons dodge one. Good patience there to tr get that ball out. Number six is that Dylan Verlinden. Libby Acker. I think that's, that's, that's Acker. Yes, I'm wearing my glasses, and I do have the roster in front of me, and I still I can't tell who's who. 7.20 left in the first half. If you're just joining us, two goals in this first half by the Clarkston Wolves. One early on at 38-23. Just a, roughly a minute and a half into this contest, uh, Wolves go up one nothing, and then on a uh, fortuitous bounce, uh, another one. A high archer and over the crossbar. Dragons are going to have to start challenging the uh, Clarkston goalkeeper from distance, from range. She doesn't seem to be uh, the tallest, but so far she's done her job. She's rotating side to side nicely. She can get up uh, to the crossbar. Uh, she's closing out the angles and gathering in the ball, doing a nice job. So I believe we have a corner kick coming for Lake Orion after the uh, substitutions. And I think that is Fedoranchik, Nadia. Fedoranchik with the honors here. Left foot, low screamer, trying to chip on. Good idea, trying to get a second go at it. Collision out front, no call. Play continues. There it is. Yeah, you thought it was a delayed call, but it looked it looked legit. And opportunity here for Lake Orion. Verlinden with the honors here. Setting up the right foot, the wall for Clarkson. Seems awful close. I think the referee's going to march him back. Yes. They do adjust. Dylan Verlinden, the junior, setting up here, trying to f find some room to roam here, get that ball around the wall. Low screamer hits the wall. The wall does its job, and the Dragon Netminder closes that gap and knocks that ball out, and the Dragons try to keep it in, unable to do so. Ooh, that looked out. They still have it, but now it's out of play. Well, the Clarkston wall held. It wasn't the best connected uh, go at it by uh, Verlinden. But they had their opportunities, and their set piece uh, play is usually much better than that. They really challenge goalkeeper. Nice centering pass off the crossbar and out of play. And who do we see? Number 15. Smart play by number 15 there, uh, trailing that play, and Dragons have to be honest. Got to watch the trailer on those. The Wolves really like to press on the offensive side, and they've done so to success of a 2-0 two, uh, two lead here in the first half. 4.20 left in this first half. Tabish up the middle. Verlinden can't run that one down. Coming near side to 15. We we see who they like to feed number 15. Big leg. Here's five. Already has a goal. And oh, there you go. Difficult save by Kapitsky on that skip shot. She was down on her knees, and luckily it, it came up chest high, and she was able to grab it. Again with this wind. Oh, a miss hit on the clearing punt. Number five, danger, danger, good at distance, and nice save by Kapitsky. She had to dive at that one to knock it out of play. Corner kick coming. Fourth of the game for the Wolves. Lake Orion has three corner kicks. Let's see. Six quality scoring chances for Lake Orion to five for, for the Wolves. Again, fourth corner kick coming. And we know usually... 
Those who start piling up the corner kicks, those are the, uh, that's the team that's the aggressor. Wynn knocked that one down, trying to find something on that right side. Nothing doing. Dragons are there on defense, and they clear it out. Ball goes out of play. Free kick, or er, throw in coming for the Wolves. Number nine with the honors. Also wearing the pink captaincy band, so we know that's one of their field captains. Out of play. Goal kick coming for Lake Orion. Wolves playing from, uh, what do they say, the catbird seat? Two goal lead. They can uh, they can be aggressive on offense and uh, just play smart defense. Nice tap, Roo over there, still alive. Defense closes down on that one quickly, though. As good play by uh, Rosalina Gokaj. I hope they say that right. Number five, and she also has the honors on the free kick. 24, Katie Broth, the senior, also on the field with the captaincy band on. Those are green for Lake Orion. Hip check. Yeah, the delay call, that was easy. Um, get that one every time. <laughs> and that was number eight. That's Libby Acker on the collision there, sending uh, the wolf to the turf. And here's number 15 with the big leg. She got the goal at 11.07 to put the Wolves up 2-0 on a very nice shot and just a dribbler, a slow dribbler across that end line for the goal, second goal of the night. Low screamer, the wall does its job, deflected out. I do believe it'll be a corner kick here for Clarkston. Fifth corner kick of the night. Yeah, number five with the honors. We've seen number five and 15 team up here. Number five has the first goal of the night. Oh, there's a header by 15. We saw it. She has the height and the skills to get that on frame, and she did. But uh, give it to Kapitsky. She was there and prepared. Dragon's trying to get something settled. Sell that ball. Get going. Let's go. Deflected out. Throwing coming for Lake Orion. 45 seconds to go in the half. This play there by the Wolves. Dragons have the throw in. Waiting for the uh, instruction here, approaching 30 seconds. We've seen crazier things. I think the least amount of time I've seen on a uh, scoreboard was three seconds left in a contest to tie it up. On a comeback win here in this field. And Dragons trying to run that one down out of play. Who are they giving it to? Didn't see the designation. So be Clark's or uh, Lake Orion ball, but we're at nine seconds to go. Interesting first half of play. The Wolves come out with force on defense and offense. Lead 2-0 here on the road at the Lake Orion Dragons. On the second half after this short timeout, you're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Stay tuned. We are the MHSAA, a collection of 750 high schools and 750 middle schools. From Temperance to Copper Harbor, from New Buffalo to Alpena, each year more than a quarter of a million students play one of our 28 sports. More than one and a half million fans attend our postseason games. There are 30,000 coaches and 8,000 officials, not to mention all of the volunteers. The MHSAA believes in the four S's. School sports should be safe and kept in the appropriate scope. We believe nothing beats great sportsmanship and that scholarship in the classroom is more important than excellence on the field or court. Most of all, we believe school sports should be fun. So come out and join us at a game. Support your school, support your community, and come see what the excitement is all about. All right, second half about to get underway here. The Clarkson Wolves and your Lake Orion Dragons in this varsity matchup. 
First half was all Clarkson on the offensive end. Two goals in the first half, one at 38-23, just a minute and a half roughly into the start of this contest. Uh, the Wolves go up one nothing, and then they add another at 11:07, And the Dragons have had their chances, but uh, the Wolves have taken advantage and um, other scoring opportunities, and they are doing a nice job so far and have the 2-0 lead on the hometown Dragons. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, here for Game of the Week on Orient Neighborhood Television. Glad you could tune into this telecast. Spring sports here on Orient Neighborhood Television. Always exciting yeah, as the Clarkston Wolves are pushing deep into the defensive end already for Lake Orient. Just like they started the first half. Aggressive and on point. Throw in coming here for Lake Orion. The Dragons were doing a lot of substitutions. Can't make up their mind what they're going to do here. The sun has set behind us and it's cold and still windy. So uh, that's mainly a, a pain in the neck for the fans, not necessarily the players. They're concentrating on what's happening on the field. Dragons just trying, can't stop him down. And a, a near walk in there. Let's see what he do here. Four jer black jerseys around the ball carrier. Nicely done. Just trying to clear it out. Nice pinpoint passing. A little tic-tac-toe action, but a giveaway. Danger, danger. Clarkston has been looking for number five, roaming with the black sleeves there. And number 15. 15 with a big leg and shoot from distance, and she did, and got that second goal at 11.05 of the first. Chased out our Antonio, that's Bucky, to break that one up. Nicely done. For Linden out there as well, number 15. Is it 15 or 16? Can't tell. Dragons trying to get organized, looking for support, trying to go over the top. It's onside, but run down by uh, the Clarkson netminder, no problem. I think Bradowski, number 19, is out there. Or is that number... Well, it's 10. That's uh, Elizabeth Crawford took the leg wrap off. She's the forward that had went, cra went gonzo, went ham in the last two games and was just a scoring machine near hat trick against Seaholm. And their number one scoring option out there on the field, but they'll take it wherever they can get it now. That's a hard collision, shoulder to shoulder, and an earned throw in by the Wolves. Take no prisoners action here uh, at Dragon Stadium. Tap over by Bradoski out of play, throw in for the Wolves. Dragons just seemed a little off kilter here. Really not sharp in the start of this second half. Tapped in the middle, trying to clear it. 15, big leg. She already has a goal tonight. 17's been a pass, too. She's uh, got some quick wheels for the Wolves. Looking in the middle now. Looking for support. Finds it. Wolves doing a nice job of spreading the field out and getting the defense moving side to side and spreading them out a little bit. Finding some alleys to move the ball. Winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. They just look sharp, sharper here in the sec start of the second half. Dragons uh, still in play, but that was close. Dragons trying to sell that ball down. Can't do it. Giveaway. Chip on in the middle. Still alive. And a, a slow roller to Kapitsky, and she gathers that one easily. Well, we're starting the second half where we left off in, this, in the first. The Wolves uh, putting that pressure on that defense. If you'd like to see more games from Orion Neighborhood Television, tune into OrionOnTV.org. Video on demand of all of our games uh, are right there in our lineup. You can also watch live streams of the games, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. 
on our Game of the Week feature. Game of the Week always showcases the newest games in our uh, lineup. Oh, tough collision. Dragons go down hard there. No injury. Nice pass. Chip on. Centering pass. Wide open. Who's there to clean it up? Oh, boy. Dragons got lucky there. No back door help for the Wolves. And Kapitsky was stuck on our line. What is she going to do? And it's deflected off. Throw in here. You can see the Dragons kind of rolling their eyes and looking up going, geez, again? Just flat-footed here today. Trying to cut that one in, unable to do so. Dragons just got to get that one out. One-on-one -on -one battles won by the Wolves. Ooh, nicely done by Clarkston. Splitting the defense and just getting that left foot on it. Got some, got some mustard on that one. Had some speed and pace, but just off frame. Quality scoring chance again for the Wolves. That's their sixth quality scoring chance of the game. Dragons feel like they have this bend but don't break defense right now. Verlinden up that right side. Is that Tabish? What can we do with it? Chip on in the center. Looking for Crawford and gather it in. That was the first wide open attack we've seen this game for Lake Orion. That was a good setup. Good positioning on side. Rinse and repeat. Bradoski with the feet in the middle. Dancing around in the crowd is Frisch. She's dumped to the turf, foul called, free kick coming for Lake Orion. This time they have the wind at their back. We'll see what happens. Verlinden usually has the honors on this. See what, uh, see who has this. Dragons looking to get set up. That ball still rolling around there. Number 16 with it, Verlinden. Yes, just like usual, Addison. Setting it up, going right foot. Plantfoot's got a brace on it. Her leg. Let's see what happens. Low roller. Can they deflect it up? Tap. Oh, back door was wide open, and Crawford cannot get a toe on it. That made it all the way through track at traffic. Two opportunities, and just a little bit tardy into that back door. A tap wide open net. What a play by Lake Orion. Just could not take advantage. That's their best. Uh, Scoring chance of the day again off a set piece. Mentioned it at the open of the game that or the match that uh, the Dragons are very good at exploiting this uh, weaknesses in the defense on set piece options. Here's another one wide open 17. She's been a pest all day. Cuts inside. Nice defense by Lake Orion to shut that down. Give and go up to the side. Trying to do something with it. Trying to move quickly. Keep that spacing. Crawford with it on the move. The sophomore has had uh, multi-goal games the last two games. And cleared out. Should be a corner kick. It's a throw in. Throw in for Lake Orion. You see the designation by the referee. 19 with the honors. That's Lillian Brodowski, the sophomore, with the deep throw in here for Lake Orion. 31-14 left in this second half. Stolen by the Wolves. Dragons get it back and reset the offense. Trying to turn on it is number 12. Good feed in. Fedoranchik just a bit deep. And uh, the right idea, but just, again, the, forwards on, uh, the right forward just a bit tardy on popping in there to try to get a toe on it. Laura Garcia checks in for the Wolves. Again, I don't have a roster here, unfortunately, to share the names of the players. Always frustrating, but we do what we can. Throw in for Lake Orion. 
trying to get something going here on offense. Bouncing ball over there, trying to get it settled. Get get that ball in the turf. It's a Tavish. Verlinden trying to get something going. Can't do it. Good game so far by Addison Verlinden and her sister uh, Dylan. Tabish doing a nice job. We saw that set up to Crawford. Just couldn't quite get that one in on the free kick. Had a chance. I like the idea of keeping the ball on the ground. Keeps it out of the wind. Nice steal there by the by the Dragons to slow that offensive rush. Crawford near side. Left foot over. Chop it in by number 20, Butkey. Butkey trying to find the opening in the middle and it's deflected out. Throw in for Lake Orion. Substitutions also be made by the green and white. Uh, Tabish, uh, number 22, checks in. Rosie Gochai, number five, checks in. And Sofia Garcia, number nine, checks in for Lake Warren. So three subs. Rotating him in and out. Over the head. Trying to get settled. Collision and play continues. Pitsky should be able to run that one down, clear it out. Nicely, nice decision there. Dragons just trying to get organized. Switch the field, a little more room to roam. Ooh, nice idea to try to get to Crawford. Just couldn't get through. Good defensive play. Go try number five, running that one down. Earning the throw in for Lake Orion. Standing tall on defense is number five. Clarkson just trying to feed it in. They're finding the open player. They're just playing what the Dragons are giving them. Number five, chip it on that far left side. The number 10 trying to run that one down and stops it. Chip on, out of play. Is that an earned corner? Looks like a corner kick coming. Sixth corner kick for the Wolves tonight. Clock continues to roll here at Dragon Stadium. I'm Ian, Ian Locke, your announcer for Orion Avery Television Sports. If you're interested in helping out on telecasts like this and or announcing or running camera, if you're interested in sports in general, oh, danger. Back and forth affair here. Still alive, my goodness. And sent out of play, too strong. But as I was saying, if you're interested in uh, helping out with ONTV's uh, sports, just give us a call at 248-393-1060. We're always looking for volunteers to give us a hand covering Dragon Sports. It's a lot of fun. You can call play-by-play, -play, probably much better than I. <laughs> so we, give me a call, and uh, we'll, we'll switch seats. Community television is here for our residents, students to gain experience, have some fun, and uh, bring games like this to our community so we can cheer on our Dragons. Throw in coming here for the Wolves at 26.05. Oh, Dragons in the middle. They have room to roam. Here we go. Tabish, chip on, score. Oh, it's 20, excuse me, Butkey. 25-52. Here's the replay. Nicely set up by Crawford's header. Oh, awesome. Tap through, she had momentum. Defense was flat-footed, made it through, and made the right decision just to tap it right foot outside toe. Nicely done. That's a great example of taking what they give you. See Tabish mugging... Uh, Butkey out there, the junior, number 20, with her tally to get the Dragons 
cut that lead in half. I was just about to say about the midway point, what is the assessment of this Dragon offense? And here we go. Just before the midway point of this second half, the Dragons get on the board. Can they do it again? Nice goal by Bucky. Much needed goal by Bucky. Dragon player dumped to the turf, no call. There's Bucky again, try to feed it in. She's feeling it. Elbows up. Trying to turn on it, coming near side. Dragon dumped to the turf, play continues, and they're gonna call a foul, even though the Dragons had the advantage. That was a big hit. Yeah, it was a delay call, but that was a monster hit. It was clean. It's all part of the game. Wind at her back sends that one deep in. Tap near side. Who is that? 12. Oh, walking in. Ooh. Love to have that one back. It wasn't Crawford. I think it was Brodowski. Mmm. Keep reflecting back on that free kick that Verlinden had that Crawford just couldn't get a toe on it in that back door wide, open back door feed. Boy, that changes the scope of this game. Got to look forward, though. Can't look back. 24.05. Left in this second half. It's been a good one. Crawford hand raised. She's open in the middle, and the Dragons can't get it to her, but a throw in coming for Lake Orion. Crowd's into it now at a 2 1 deficit, trying to squeak back into this game to level this up. Here we go. Coming near side number 12 for Doranchik. She turns. Oh, miss hit there. I don't can't tell if that was a shot or a pass. Didn't, got underneath the ball. You, Dragons are okay to shoot outside the 18. Get that ball on frame. Make the goalie do something. Make them make a save. Make them do their job, and you hope that they just don't expect it. Tap into the 18. Chased by Crawford, coming near, trying to tap it out. Didn't get anything on it. Right idea. Dragons were open. Nice turn by the Wolves. Contact from behind. Play continues, no call. More contact, play continues. They're letting them play. You hear the groans from the gallery going, foul, foul. Dragons low across. The turf, Paisley Frisch couldn't handle it, but it was uh, deflected out by the Wolves. Nice feed up to number three. If she could just turn on it and go. Long throw in. Bucky trying to do something with it. It's out. Throw in coming for Lake Orion and substitutions being made. Addison Verlinden and Maya Chap check in for Lake Orion. We're gonna say offsides or a foul. Free kick coming for the Wolves. Winesman over there raises flag up, blew his whistle. That's the end of that. Dragons trying to put some pressure on and uh, allow the offense to get to get a break out here. Nice step to the side. Number five has been a pest all night. She has one goal today. I uh, got that early, about 38-23 uh, the first half. Seems like a long time ago. Dragons content to clear that one out. I think that was Gochai on the delivery. Nicely done. Throw in. 
for the Wolves. Let's see. Looking at the schedule ahead. This play continues. Uh, Clarkston will be, has Berkeley, Annabry here on Troy Athens, Bloomfield Hills as their next four games. That's a tough stretch. Taylor, number seven, checks in, and Tabish. Mackenzie Tabish, number 22, checks back in for Lake Warren. Oh, look at a little wrestling match going on out there. No call. Play continues. Even the uh, coaches had their hands in there going, really? Take down, and they're going to call it. They're looking for yellows. Crowds screaming for yellow cards. Referee's going to explain why it's not a yellow card, but you could see. <laughs> Went down in a heap. I'm not going to say that there's thespians out here, but you know, the flair for the dramatic. But 15 is the one you want to have taken this goal kick, but it's in the teeth of the wind. She already has a goal from distance. Sends it on, and whoa, that really took off on her. So um, Dragons with a goal kick here. Go Chai with the honor. She's sitting there, number five. Done a nice job on defense and has done a nice job of clearing that ball. Nice delivery by Go Chai. Little push in the back. Evie Taylor, number seven, handles it like a champ. Nice tap dance over there by Go Chai. Near side, but a collision and a giveaway. Dangerous passing out there. Uh-oh, 15, can't get it squared up. Deflected out by the defense, nicely done. Goal, or excuse me, corner kick coming for the Clarkston Wolves. Their seventh of the game. Dragons have three corner kicks. Clarkston has seven. Approaching 18 minutes here. Number five with the honor. She has a goal early already. She's going to go distance. Far post and a dribbler. My goodness, what a chance for the Wolves. And a screamer from distance over the crossbar. No harm, no foul, but what a scoring chance for the Wolves. Scoring chances for Clarkson are adding up. Looking at the OAA White Division, which Clarkston and Lake Orion are a part of. The teams in the white are Clarkston, Berkeley, Groves, Lake Orion, Royal Oak, uh, Seaholm, and Farmington. Farmington is struggling this year, looking for a, their first win. Um, it's a pretty balanced league. And every team is competitive. You name off the names and you're going, whoa, really? Um, there's no gimmies in the white division. Nice turn there by the Wolves looking to get on the attack, and they do. Finding the open person. Again, they're just taking what Lake Orion's give them on defense. No call, that's a clean play, shoulder to shoulder on the ball. Clarkson faithful calling for a PK, not gonna get it. That's closer, a little push from the back. They have an argument on that one and now the uh, natives are getting restless. People are getting upset. <laughs> you gotta watch out. We saw a, 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 a fan get ejected from uh, a game that we were covering. They were asked to leave after they were heckling and ridiculing the linesmen over and over again. They were warned, and we have to have sportsmanship on all levels, not only on the field, but also in the stands. The referees 
don't make a whole heck of a lot of money doing this. And they do it because they love the game. And if you drive away the referees from this game, they're, you know, from refereeing, there, there are no games, right? So you, it's just a game. So, sorry, I'm on my soapbox there. Uh, <laughs> you know, yes, you can be upset at certain calls, but it's still just a game in the grand scheme of things. Federanchik checks into the match for here for Lake Orion. Time is really kind of slipping away. It's just trickling away here for Lake Orion. Down one goal here in the second. 15 minutes left in this second half. Trying to get something going. That's that's on side. No one there to gather it in. Oh, a misplay there by the defender. Can't chip on. Oh, are you kidding? Wow. What a lucky break for the Wolves. Again, good goalkeeping. Came out, cut the angle, nothing doing. And the defensive players did a nice job of backing up along the goal line there at that uh, defensive breakdown. But here's Crawford with the strong left foot. She had a leg wrap on, took it off. Can she send it in? Let's see what happens. Knuckles around, header by, oh, chip on, just cannot find the back of the net. Oh, my word. Dylan Verlinden was there. The net was open and it was delivered nicely. Again, opportunities missed. That's at least two wide open nets that the Dragons just couldn't execute. Wolves with the ball, finding space to roam. Time continues to roll here. It's so one thing about soccer, you, these are 40 minute halves and you sit here and you go, well, 40 minutes is a lot of time. It is, until it isn't. Then that clock just starts to become a, a problem. It changes the way you are thinking and mentally thinking about the game, especially in a tight matchup like this one, a two to one deficit at home against your rival in the division. Big game for Lake Orion and the Wolves. And the Wolves, excuse me. Tapped out by Lake Orion on forced error. Can't have that. I think that was Tabish on the miss hit there. And she, you can see she's shaking her head. Maskovic checks in for the Wolves as announced by the PA speaker. All that room and time to roam. Closed out nicely by 14. Good defense. Maya Chap, the sophomore. Again, uh, Lake Orion, the makeup of this team is a young team. They have a lot of sophomores and juniors, so the future is bright for this team. Battling in the box, trying to get it out. Verlinden still out there trying to get something going. The frustrations of being a forward in soccer is real. <laughs> it's just a matter of inches, and you go, oh, my goodness, why didn't I? How couldn't How couldn't have I just gathered that ball in? How did I not get a solid shot on that ball? Right? It's a real struggle out there. The mental aspect of this game is cannot be overstated. Oh, nice feet up there, 19 on the roll. Right foot chip on, a little excited. And didn't have anybody in the back door. But hey, the pressure's on. Bucky checks back in for the Lake Orion Dragons, number 20. She has the goal, lone goal for Lake Orion tonight at 25-52 of the second half. Goal kick coming here for Lake Orion. Go try with the honor. She's had a very nice game on defense.
Just inside 11 minutes left in this second half. Dragons winners of two straight coming into this one. A win over Seaholm and a win over Anchor Bay. Clarkston used to being on the road. Six of their first eight games have been on the road and they have a 5-2-1 and one record coming in so you know it doesn't bother them. And here they are in Dragon Stadium with a 2-1 lead in the later stages of this second half in the OAA White Division matchup. Coming near side of 19, that's Brodowski. Trying to get it is Verlinden. Back to Brodowski. Looking for support. Brodowski miss hits and unforced error out of play. Sometimes too much dribbling gets you into trouble. Just got to get it out, clear it up. Chased down by number 23, West. And that'll be a goal kick. West, West uh, sporting the green captaincy armband. Lake Orion Faithful sitting on their hands currently, trying to keep them warm, one, and looking for something to cheer about to try to get this team energized, try to get level with this the Wolves team. Again, you got to give uh, Lake, or uh, excuse me, Clarkston, Props for their defensive uh, pressure. Oh, near, near goal. Good stop by Kapiski. That that is a game changer right there. That nearly seals the deal if it goes in. But very nice save on the quality scoring chance by Clarkston. Clarkston is not going away. They can feel it. They want this win. Ball goes out of play. Goal kick coming. Time continues to roll. Eight, oh, eight thirty. Aaron Regalia, number eighteen for Lake Orion, checks in. The senior. Wind at her back. Go Chai sends it down range. Wolves have it. Wolves would like to tally another goal here to close the door on this contest. Approaching eight minutes to play. Nice steal by number 20 after the giveaway earlier. Plays it to the center. No one on the left side is there as all the action is rotated to this right side. They're going to call a foul easy on that one. On the ground kicking, yeah, a little excessive. They're going to call it. This has been a clean game. It's been aggressive. It's been physical, but it's been clean. You'd expect this from uh, these two squads when they meet up. Nice shot down range, intercepted by the Wolves. Nice pass over the back line. Defense of blind pullback, trying to turn that one. Still alive. Dragons trying to dribble it out of the defensive end. Nice turn there by Lake Warren, and they're on the move. Pass up. Oh, just out of reach. That was close. Tabish was there. That pass is timed just a little bit better. She's on the move, and you had uh, Verlinden in the middle. Mm. Again, missed opportunities. If you like more Dragon sports action, head on over to OrionOnTV.org. Click our Video On Demand button, and you can see games in our video lineup. You can also watch us on Comcast Channel 10, AT&T U-verse, Channel 99. And if you have Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire TV, you can watch our live streams, Video On Demand, as well on those services. All you have to do is add us to your channel lineup, just search Orion on TV and click load. There you can see all of our curated uh, video on demand files, ON TV shows, ON TV news, volunteer programming, podcast, of course, Dragon Sports, and all three of our live streams from our 
public access channel, government access channel, and education channel. Dragons up that right side on a move. Trying to get it in. Crawford couldn't get through the traffic. Ooh, near steal by Lake Orion. Going to start getting... Uh, I'm waiting to see if the Dragons are going to push everybody forward on the defensive side to get more bodies in the offensive uh, attack. But, but the Wolves have had a lot of... They've really spread the field out nicely. And they're finding avenues, passing avenues. They're finding room to roam, room to gather themselves. For, uh, to make solid decisions in the second half. They've, they've just been doing a better job of finding space. Um, the Dragons are kind of compacting their defense back in the end. And uh, here's a dangerous kick from a strong foot on goal and out of play. I wish I had a roster. I'd give uh, 15 props all day long. I think between her and number five, They've really carried this uh, a Wolves offense all game long from, from the opening kick until now. Really solid players, matchup problems. Dragons have it deep in the offensive end here with a throw in. Let's see what they can do. Verlinden and tap in, trying to find something. And Bucky's there, out of play. Corner kick coming for Lake Orion, their fourth of the game. It's been a while since they've had a corner kick. Crawford's all set up. Let's see what we can do. That ball's blowing all over the place still. Trying to keep it in place. Dragons are ready. Curving it in. Skipper uh, cleared out easily by the Wolves. Can't keep it in. And Crawford would like to have a little more elevation on that ball. The sophomore with a strong left leg. A little more elevation on that. We saw um, the height advantage. You have uh, Bucky out there and Tabish. They have some height on this offensive attack. And uh, we've seen a lot of headers over the years going for the Lake Orion squad. And this year we've seen a couple. Oh, head on save. Dangerous bounce, but it was uh, easily played by the Clarkston Wolves. Approaching three minutes to go. What are the Dragons going to do? Are they pushing everybody up? Are they going to risk a breakout by the Wolves to go a th up 3-1? They have two defenders back. Bradoski trying to feed that one in. It's still alive. Chased down by Verlinda, and that's too strong and long. It's out. Dragons trying to find something, and the Wolves taking their time. They've earned the right to take their time and slow walk it. <laughs> Approaching two minutes. Last time I mentioned the clock, it was, t what, 10 minutes left? Just like that, we're down to two minutes. Take their time. Milk about 15, 20 seconds off the clock. Line it up. Now it's 30 seconds. Here we go. Nice long kick against the wind. Very nicely done. Maya Patil back out there. Number 11 fighting. The freshman doing a nice job. Coming near side. Wolves just chip it into open space and run it down. And that will be a corner kick for Clarkston. Oh, boy. Gochai tried to make the defensive play, but if I think the ball got away from the offensive player for Clarkson, it would have been a goal kick, but now they can slow roll this one up there. They'll probably do a short corner and just tap it to number 19. They're, they're working the clock now. Nope, going long. Open in the box. They had one attacker in there and nearly got a toe on it. 60 seconds left in this contest. Foul called. Free kick coming for Lake Orion, but they got to get moving. A yellow card coming. 
Yellow card issued by the referee, and that stops the clock as they sort this out. So that player has to leave. They get a substitution. The clock is stopped at 58 seconds. Wind at their back. What can we do here? Send it long? Have to. Everybody up. And to no black jerseys. Dragons need to get possession of this ball and get moving quickly. Lost their footing. Number five on the move. A tap root to the near side. Good defense there, but the time is ticking away and is saved by Kapitsky. 35 seconds to go. Need to move. Sent down range. Not as far as you'd hope. And Dragons send a nice long one trying to split that defense. For Linden trying to run it down. Trying to find the open player. They do. That is Butkey trying to get a second goal. And just wide left. Oh, my word. That was the equalizer at 16 seconds. That was the shot, and that's the ball game. Game's over. What a game by these two. Dragons had a chance and nearly made it. But, hey, that's it. That's the ball game. Clarkson wins it in this tight one in the OAA White matchup. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thank you for tuning in to this telecast. Hope you enjoyed the action here at Dragon Stadium. We'll see you next time on Game of the Week. Good night, everybody.